In Creo Parametric, you can leverage a cross-section from an existing model as the basis for a new layout or the geometry in a layout. Let me show you how I'm going to do that. Here I have a transmission assembly open. Let me go to one of my simplified reps just so that you can see the interior components. And this particular model has two different cross sections. Let me show them to you. I will go to the sections tab. Here we have cross section A and here we have cross section B for some of the other components for the reverse gear. And I'm interested in using cross section A as the starting point for the geometry in my new layout. Let me get out of here, close that. To create my new layout, I will click on the new icon and then in the new dialog box, I will change the type to layout. This is going to be my transmission layout. I put layout in the name because it's going to end up with a .cem file extension. CEM stands for Conceptual Engineering Model. Let's click the OK button. And now for the new layout, I usually create it empty. You could use a format or a drawing template. And I don't do that so much simply because if I intend to leverage the layout in an assembly model, sort of like a skeleton, I don't want to see all that stuff. So let's click the OK button. And now I am in layout mode. To bring in a cross section, you'll click on the import command on the design tab. And here we have a drop down list where you can choose what you want to grab. And so normally, if you're thinking 2D and you want to bring in some geometry, you would think, hey, I'm going to bring in some IGIS or DXF or maybe an existing DWG. But in this case, I'm going to change the type to assembly. And it's this assembly that I previously had open. Here we have the import assembly cross section window. And first off, we have a drop down list that allows us to choose which cross section that we want to grab. And in this particular situation, I want to grab cross section A, but I, I could always import cross section B later on. Then you have a choice to create nodes automatically. Nodes are a method of organizing the geometry inside of your layout. And you can think of nodes as sort of building up a model tree in 2D for what you create. And you have the choice of none, which is the default. You could use the intersected components only or create a node for every component in the assembly. I'm not going to do that sim simply because later on I'm going to change the geometry that I'm importing. The color that you're bringing in, it could take the part color or you could use the layout color if you want everything coming in the same color. And for the cross hatching, you can choose to import it or not to import it. And I don't want to bring in the hatching. I just want to see the outline of the components. I will click the OK button. And here we have the geometry imported. Right now it's green because everything is still selected. And the reason that they have that is in case you want to rotate or resize, which I do because everything came in vertically and I want it to be horizontal. So I'm just going to grab the handle and drag it and let it snap to 90 degrees of rotation. I could scale it at this point, but I'm going to use the initial one to one scale and hit the check mark. Let's deselect everything. I will bring my, essentially my model tree back. This is the navigator. We have the organization tab. And for the model tree here, you can see where you have the organization of tags inside of here. But again, I brought in the geometry and you can do what you want with these individual entities. You could delete them. You could dimension them. Here is a great way of starting out with some pre-existing material rather than reinventing the wheel. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.